Here we are, about to board a 747, and by stairs, no less. In the last video, we flew into Palma on an A350. I'll pop a link to that one up top in case you missed it. Now it's time to get on the 747-8 for the ride back to Germany. Frankfurt this time. Unfortunately, I don't get to sit up here for this one. The jump seats were sadly already taken. So being on the 747 flight deck for takeoff and landing will have to remain on the to-do list for now. But we'll have a quick chat with the captain a little later. Uh, this morning it came out of the bed Chicago, tonight it will uh, fly towards Johannesburg, so there's some time in between for a short uh, day trip out of Frankfurt to the Mediterranean Sea and back. So, uh, together with my colleague up here in the cockpit, the first officer, Mr. Christian Ernst, I'm going to fly you on board of a queen of the skies back to Frankfurt. And I got the next best seat. First class in the nose of the 747 is hard to beat, whatever the seats look and feel like. Lufthansa's is a much more open design than many others, though there is a divider that comes up to offer some privacy. Some prefer it this way, while others like to be more hidden away and enclosed. Where do you stand on that? Let us know in the comments. On takeoff, we made a series of left turns that gave us beautiful views of the east side of Mallorca. So in the last video, we left off at uh, Palma Airport, having taken the A350 down in the flight deck. Now we're turning right back around to go back to Germany, uh, Frankfurt this time on the 7478, which these days is super special to get on a 747 at all. It's basically business service and it's a short haul European business service, so not like you would get on the long haul flights, but what a cool treat to get a chance to sit in this seat on a flight from Palma to Frankfurt. There are some things missing that you'd ordinarily get in first, like caviar and the rows that would normally be in there. I think we can live without those though, especially on a flight under two hours. I've still got a long day ahead, so no champagne this time. And this shot doesn't work quite the same with a Coca-Cola. But cheers anyway.
What do you think of these window shades? Unnecessary or a nice change from the usual? I like them. And of course, one of the best things about the 747 is this engine and wing view. You don't get it from up in the nose, so a stroll back to the second exit door is recommended. Am I the only one who would happily stare at this wing for an hour? Who's with me? You better believe that a flight like this will attract some ab geeks. This guy had a special t-shirt made for the occasion. On these special flights, you can even get away with roaming the first class cabin with a big camera. For a minute or two anyway. It's also just nice to be on an unusual flight where passengers and crew seem to be excited. Flying can become so routine and mundane, and many see it as a source of stress and difficulty. So when you have a big jet full of people in a good mood, that's pretty great. You see many passengers are very excited about being on the 747 to and from Mallorca. Does it, is, is it similarly fun for you, or is it just another flight? It's uh, definitely not just another flight. The whole crew was uh, very excited to have that flight. The Queen of the Skies is always a beautiful aircraft, and all the guests are excited. The crew enjoyed the flight, so it was very special for us. Just as on the A350 coming down, the flight was over in what felt like minutes, and soon we were descending into Frankfurt. Let's do a little walkthrough of the 747-8, shall we? Here's a quick look at the crew rest bunks right at the back of the plane. And let's not forget to check in with the captain. Yeah, it was a nice flight. It was a little bit short, but nice. Yeah, a little too short, I think. Yeah. yeah. He started off flying 747s with the 200 series, and he says it remains his favorite. I've been flying the 747 series since about uh, 23 years. I started with 747-200, 747-400, and last couple of years, the Dash 8. Definitely the Dash 8 is the most modern one. But, um, but I like the 200 as well. It's a little bit old-fashioned. We flew it with three men in the cockpit, flight engineer, two pilots, and I think it was a kind of interesting and nice, nice airplane. Beautiful as well. And do you have a favorite uh, place to land anywhere in the world, favorite approach? Uh, I think my, my, my favorite, I think, is uh, the approach into Mexico City. Most, mostly it's a little bit demanding because of the thunder showers and the terrain around. But it's, it's an interesting city as well, vibrant, a lot of life, and I think maybe it's one of my favorites. And with that, it's goodbye for now, 747. In Frankfurt, for Flight Radar 24, I'm Gabriel Lee.